After Prithvi Narayan Shah became the king, he launched the unification campaign to build a greater Nepal. But his lifetime alone was not sufficient to build the Nepal that we see today. He dedicated every last breath of his life towards the unification campaign, but besides him, there were other contributors as well. One of the most important contributors for the unification of Nepal can be taken to be Rajendra Lakshmi. Rajendra Lakshmi was the mother of Rana Bahadur Shah. After the death of her husband, Pratap Singh Shah, her minor son Rana Bahadur Shah was put on the throne. So Rajendra Lakshmi began to rule in the name of her son as a regent. Pratap Singh Shah had exiled his brother Bahadur Shah during his reign. Bahadur Shah was spending his days at Bathia. But Rajendra Lakshmi called Bahadur Shah from Bathia and for some time they ruled jointly as the co-regents in the name of Rana Bahadur Shah. King Rana Bahadur Shah was born on 25th May 1775 AD and was crowned as the King of Nepal on 17th November 1777 AD. His regency was held by Queen Mother Rajendra Lakshmi for 8 years and Uncle Bahadur Shah for 9 years. Since the king was only two and a half years old, his mother Rajendra Lakshmi and uncle Rana Bahadur Shah ruled jointly as his co-regents. Bahadur Shah ruled jointly as his co-regents. Bahadur Shah began to think of conquering the Baise and Jobishya Raja. In the meantime, quarrel and misunderstanding began between Rajendra Lakshmi and Bahadur Shah. Rajendra Lakshmi always suspected that Bahadur Shah would take the revenge for the harm done to him by her husband Pratap Singh Shah. Bahadur Shah modernized the army and collected arms and ammunitions. Rajendra Lakshmi was strongly opposed by the work of Bahadur Shah. So, with the help of Sarbajit Rana, she suddenly arrested and imprisoned Bahadur Shah. But some time later, with the request of Guru Gajiraj Mishra, Bahadur Shah was freed. Bahadur Shah again began to start the work of administration. Then, he arrested Rajendra Lakshmi and killed Sarbajit Rana. Bahadur Shah turned his attention towards the expansion in the west. He gave order to Hamsaraj Pandey to attack Tanahu. Hamsaraj Pandey attacked and captured Sur, the capital of Tanahu. The Gorkhali commander continued to counter-attack on March 1779 AD. The combined Chaubisha Raja attacked Someswar and got victory. Hearing that news, Bahadur Shah reached there, attacked Someshur and captured it. Meanwhile, Rajendra Lakshmi came to power with the help of Bal Bahadur Shah, the son of Mahadam Kriti Shah. When Rajendra Lakshmi was released from her imprisonment, she exiled Bahadur Shah and began to rule as the sole regent of Rana Bahadur Shah. Taking the advantage of such internal troubles in the capital, the chiefs of the Chaubisha Raja under the leadership of the king of Palpa, made an attempt to invade Gorkha in 1781-80. Rajendra Lakshmi sent a troop under the leadership of Amar Singh Thapa. Amar Singh Thapa defeated the combined forces of Chaubisha Raja at Chipliti and then at Siranchok and Tarkukat. Bir Mardan Shah of Lamjung was also afraid of the Gorkha troops that he ran away from the kingdom without facing them in the battle. With this, both Lomjung and Tanahu were annexed to the Kingdom of Nepal in 1782-80. The King of Kaski, Siddhi Narayan Shah, also surrendered before the Gorkha troops. Flushed with success, Rajendra Lakshmi sent a trip under the leadership of Kaji Abhiman Singh Basnet to invade Palpa. Taking this advantage, Kritiba Malla of Parbat attacked Lomjung. The Gorkha troops had to retreat from Palpa to defend Lomjung. A fierce battle was fought in July 1784-80 between the troops of Gorkha and Parbat at Makai Danda. Ultimately, Parbat was defeated. Then the Gorkha troops attacked Bir Court, Rishing Satahun, Garahun, Dor, Paya, and Jari Court and annexed them all to the Kingdom of Nepal. Rajendra Lakshmi died on 13 July 1785-80. During her short period of regency of nine years, Rajendra Lakshmi contributed much to the expansion of territory of Nepal. Well, that is all about Rajendra Lakshmi. We can see that she played an important role in the unification campaign of Nepal. Well, we have more such videos for you guys, 
So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you liked our video.